So the next one uh, is from uh, Bitkark IGN. I've had a discussion about the Resonite's performance in comparing to VRChat. Personally, I think it's not fair to compare Resonite to VRChat because they're totally different, but despite the Resonite's dynamic nature, I think it has some advantages over VRChat or might have later on, like utilizing it at night, new render, and more. Uh, continuing. Oh, yeah, that's two questions. Uh, gonna put the. Oops, and I pulled out the other one by accident. Um, there we go. Continuing, but I'm curious to hear what you think. Do you believe that Resonate can ever come close to VRChat's performance uh, when compared to similar gameplay? I mentioned this hanging out world in a static world. Yeah, I think it definitely can. Like, I, th I think with .NET 9, like, that's gonna be a big improvement. We'll see how it kinda runs with that. Um, there's still a lot of other optimi performance optimizations we can do. So, there's like two things. So, like, one, in some aspects, I do feel it's a, bit, a little bit unfair because, you know, Resonate is doing a lot of things that you know, the R this isn't, like with like, you know, the editing and so on. So it's like you're comparing performance that includes doing things, you know, that the platform doesn't, but also like even in those cases to the end user it might not matter. Like they will not they will not care why it might run slower. Um it just runs slower and that's the main thing. But I do think like, you know, we like it's not even about kind of coming close. I do think like we can run like way better uh, especially with the .NET 9 and with some of the future performance updates, because we'll be a like with the .NET 9, we'll be able to use much more modern technologies, and we already have like a lot of the systems designed for very you know kind of high performance uh, like usage, and there's other things we want to do, you know, to be able to better scale. We also have systems like for example the asset variant system where we can sort of generate lots of variants for the assets on the fly, even for existing content. And be able to kind of optimize, you know, content for different kind of devices, which on itself can help quite a bit. So I am pretty confident, like it's doable. Um, I don't really have like any side by side benchmarks, so like it's kind of hard to say. But like I don't see a reason like why it wouldn't be able to lag like, around like you know faster, especially if you if you like you know have the same scenario when people are just kind of hanging out we can kind of optimize those scenarios that's like another part of it performance is like you know it depends what you're doing because you know you want to be comparing like you know very similar scenarios because if you're doing very different things like you're doing heavy editing say like you use a node that's like constantly scanning the hierarchy you know that's not going to run well um you know even like with a lot of optimizations so the context of it kind of matters. But if you have, like, you know, well-optimized content on both sides, if you have, like, you know, all of the optimizations, I do think it can run same or even, like, you know, better, like, thanks to the modern technologies.